straight. Here we go back. This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands. Hello guys, what's on chaps? Coco Box here. Welcome back to the channel for more Black Ops 4 Zombies content. We're on the map, Blood of the Dead. We're going to be showing you a solo, unlimited ammo pilot glitch inside the tunnels after all patches. Now, big shout out to Six Savage, I guess, for finding this after all the patches. We're just getting out the map a different way. I believe the founders of this originally was myself and Unit Game Productions. Now, what you want to do before you start up a game is put on the perk Blaze Phase. Now, you're also going to need yourself a DJ5 Ragnarok for this as well. The Alexa are talking about regeneration and also the Alexa anywhere but here just in case you get stuck. Now make your way in towards the game, buy yourself Blaze Face and come in towards this little part of the map right here and buy yourself the Vesper off the wall. Now once you've got the Vesper, go over towards the pack a punch and simply pack a punch it five times so it's at its strongest point because this is the ammo you're going to be using and limited amount of times. Now make your way over towards the CD street, simply crouch so you charge up your Blaze Phase, stand a little bit away from the gate and simply once you stand back up, immediately hit pause, pause it for about a second, then unpause it, and as you can see, you should create enough lag to breach inside the map. Simply go prone, crawl underneath this part of the map right here, and from this location, we're going to activate our elixir, because we're going to start taking death barriers. Now what we're going to do is activate the elixir and keep moving, so our health does not deplete all the way down. This will keep regenerating if you keep moving. Follow the same location as I do right here, you're going to pull out your Ragnarok and simply jump in towards the lava pit, now from here, this is the tricky part. You want to run and jump and slam with your Ragnaroks on towards that corner right there. As you can see, I'm not going to cut it enough from that. I'm going to keep it all in just because I know you guys will feel this as well because it's a little bit of a tricky jump. Just keep at it and jump and slam in towards the corner. Now once you've done that, jump and slam over a lava pit and make your way over towards this little box right here and simply just jump. You do not need your Ragnaroks to do this. Now once you're on top of here, Make your way around towards the back of the map right now. If you still have your Ragnaroks, you can simply slam down there so you don't take any damage at all. If you don't, just stay against the wall and drop down so you take as less damage as you can. From here, just keep making your way all the way up past these rocks right here until you get up towards the water tower and simply jump on towards the water tower. Now, once you're on the water tower, what we're going to do is jump over on towards the wall. Make sure you do not hit the ground because you'll fall through the map and run along towards the end of the wall. Simply jump from the end of the wall over towards the fence. Now, you make your way around the fence and simply drop down here until you're on top of the tunnels. Now, when you're on the tunnels, do not do what I do is crouch because as you can see, you're going to activate your blaze phase and you can accidentally fall off the map. Just simply drop down the side of the map here where the fast travel is you make your way around towards the other side of the wall and simply stand right here in the middle if you move too far to the left or too far to the right you can hit death barriers so bear that in mind and as you can see all the zombies will come from there and pile up that one window and pile in front of you to get the ammo you also have to be quick as well run around the uh, fast travel pick up the ammo run back towards this location right here and as you can see all the zombies will pile up right in front of you and that means you have unlimited access to this ammo as well all the zombies only come from that one window and the wardens they all just completely glitch out they'll keep spawning in the map and just completely disappearing again so it's only going to be zombies and dogs you can't have to deal with but apart from that like i said the after patch method was found by six savage i believe this spot right here was found by myself and Unique Game Production months and months back we were getting the unlimited ammo and stuff. It was with the actual super jump with the Ragnaroks, if any can remember that. We held L1 and R1 and jumped and slammed at the same time and you went super high. But apart from that, I'm just going to put the video through. It has been Coco Pops. Drop a comment, subscribe if you're new, if you thought the video was helpful. And I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy. Bye-bye.